This video will demonstrate how to restring a javelin grip using the Heartsport replacement javelin cord. To begin, you will need to make sure you have the following materials available. A Heartsport javelin without the grip. Some Heartsport javelin cord, ensuring you have the correct length for the size of javelin used. A closed loop of cord, similar to a shoelace. This is used to finish tightening the grip. Sharp scissors. This is used to cut off any extra javelin cord. Some high quality textile glue, which is used to glue the javelin cord to the javelin. A small paintbrush, used to apply the textile glue to the javelin. Prepare the area by ensuring the grip area is clean and free from residue of the previous grip. Now apply the textile glue to the grip area of the javelin with the small paintbrush. Slowly rotate the javelin to ensure you are evenly covering the grip area with the textile glue. When you have finished applying the textile glue, put aside. For a not free finish on the grip, the start of the javelin cord should be laid horizontally along the javelin from the pre-marked location. Begin to roll the javelin cord along the shaft, rolling back onto and over the javelin cord, forming a basic knot to secure it in place. Roll four to five loops, covering this initial knot to form the start of the grip. Continue to roll the javelin cord onto the grip area up to the correct length specified. Please ensure you keep compacting the cord and applying some pressure while rolling the javelin cord onto the javelin. Once there is only around 15 millimeters left to go before the end mark, stop. Now place the loop of cord on top of the existing grip but underneath the remainder of the grip that is yet to be rolled out. The javelin cord will now be going over the loop of cord. Note that it's important the knot end of the loop of cord is facing the start of the javelin cord and that there is adequate loop remaining after the grip is completed. Continue rolling the javelin cord until you reach the end mark. Then feed the last piece of the javelin cord through the eye of the loop of cord. Pull firmly on the knot end of the loop of cord so the javelin cord is pulled under the grip formation and is secured in the same way as the start of the javelin grip. Adjust and tighten the javelin cord. Now use the sharp scissors to neatly cut off any javelin cord that is left over, then discard. The final step is to tighten the grip by using two hands to grasp the applied grip and twist with both hands in alternate directions. Please make sure you twist the correct way or you will loosen it. Allow 24 hours to dry before use.